what 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 do we know and i guess most importantly what are we still yet to learn yeah thanks thanks for having me on show we this is a really fast moving recent thing so there's a lot we still need to learn right but what we do know is that uh is that we do have a new variant it is very different from the variants that we've seen before um up until now we've had variants that have six or seven or eight mutations in the spike which is the part of the virus that attaches to the cell, and it's also the part of the virus that, um, that we target with our vaccines. Right. This particular variant has um, more than 50 mutations across the whole genome and more than 30 in the spike. Um, right. So it's considerably more mutated than anything we've seen before. So there, there has been in people's minds, and, and, and this may well just be our perception, but you'll, you'll put us straight, a link between the rise in cases and the appearance of a new variant. And yet the bit that puzzles me is they're saying there are 22 cases of this. Am I wrong in my mind to draw a link between the two? They may be connected, but is, can we be sure that they are? We, we, we believe strongly that they are, and, and the reason for that is that we have 22, and in fact that was this morning, we now have close to 90 okay. fully confirmed sequences where we've actually sequenced the entire virus, and so right. we're 100% certain of those. But, I, but the thing that causes us concern and why we, why we believe that this may be driving the resurgence is because this particular variant, because of the mutations that it has, reacts differently on the diagnostic tests that we've been using. So the diagnostic tests that we have in South Africa is um, carefully built to have redundancy. So it targets four, four different, at least four different parts of the virus. But particular mutations in this variant mean that one of, those, one of those PCRs doesn't work. And so it's very easy for us to track it without having the full genomic sequencing. So while we only have 100 confirmed sequences, which is already quite a lot in a matter of a few days, right. what we do know from the diagnostic test is that at the moment, this particular variant accounts for more than 90% of new infections in cutting. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.